Welcome back to Technic Force Learning. Today, we're going to learn how to set up your blog on medium.com. The overall design of Medium is minimalistic, featuring lots of white space and limited formatting options. As a marketer, Medium presents an opportunity for you to reach a new audience with your content. But it's important to understand that this isn't just another Twitter or Facebook. According to Williams, you can think of Twitter as what's happening. You can think of traditional news as what happened. And you can think of Medium as what really happened. The platform is geared toward sharing longer form, more well thought out content. But of course, given the open to all nature of Medium, that isn't the only type of content you find there. Whether you're looking into Medium for its publishing capabilities or you simply want to learn more about the platform before you set up an account and start exploring, you've come to the right video. First, let's learn how to create an account. While it's true that anyone can view Medium content, regardless of whether or not they have a Medium account, in order to publish and interact with folks on the platform, you need to have an account and be logged in. Fortunately, you can create an account in less than a minute by going to medium.com and clicking the Get Started button in the center of the page or you can click the Sign In or Sign Up link at the top of the page. From there, you'll have four different sign up options to choose from, Twitter, Facebook, Google, and email. Sign up for Medium using Twitter or Facebook, that way, all of your existing connections from Twitter or Facebook who are on Medium will automatically be following your account once it's created. This saves you the trouble of having to build up a new audience entirely from scratch. Also, regardless of the option you go with to start, you can always link your Twitter or Facebook to your Medium account later via the settings menu. The other main things to remember when it comes to setup, adding a profile photo and writing up a short 160 character max bio for your Medium profile page. Medium publications are collections of stories based around a common theme. Anyone can create them, yourself included, and the way they work is fairly straightforward. As the creator of a publication, you're an editor by default, which means you have the ability to add writers to your publication, edit and publish the stories that are submitted by your writers, and review the metrics for all of the stories that are part of your publication. As the publication's creator, you also have the ability to appoint new editors so they can do all of that stuff I just mentioned. When you publish a story on Medium, you get the option to add up to three tags, which appear at the bottom of your story. Clicking a tag brings you to a page where you can see more stories with the same tag, as well as some suggestions for other tags you might be interested in. The main benefit of following tags is that it can help personalize your Medium experience. Instead of surfacing content based solely on your social graph, Medium uses tags to surface content that's based on your specific interests as well. When you've finished your story and are happy with how everything looks, head up to the top nav where you'll find two links, which is Share and Publish. Clicking Share will generate a link to the draft of your story which you can share with anyone, even if they don't have a Medium account. And the people you shared the draft with will also have the option of leaving you notes. Clicking the Publish button, meanwhile, will open a menu where you can select up to three tags for your story. Medium will recommend some tags by default, but you can also search for tags and create new ones by simply entering text. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.